Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Precarious Brewing Company's Always a Ghost Belgian Triple. Very cool can. All the ghosts have sort of like different expressions. This one's sad, this one's concerned, this one doesn't have a mouth at all. Looks like a Where's Waldo. Yeah, sure. I wonder if there's like something in there that we should be cognizant of. Oh, uh, yeah. th there is, yeah. the little pink one. This is a Belgian triple with jasmine flowers. So I'm guessing that's why the text is pink and you got a little pink ghosty. I think jasmine flowers are white though. Oh, well, maybe that's why it's white. I don't know. So Belgian triples are brewed with Belgian yeast, obviously. Um, this one, I guess, is brewed with Belgian, with, I'm um, sorry, jasmine flowers. Maybe Belgian jasmine flowers, who knows? Um, and yeah, this style is uh, it's very estery, very yeasty. Um, a lot of the flavor comes from the inclusion of that yeast. Uh, so, yep, probably some clove notes, some banana notes. Banana in there, yeah, exactly. It's, it's gonna be kind of like a wheat beer, Sorta, of, but um, yeah. Well, we'll dive in there and see what this is all about. It looks like very kind of straw colored, a little bit hazy. Triple, Special. triple. I think the pronunciation is different wherever you go. Maybe. I think here we just say triple because it's easy. Maybe in Belgium they say triple or tripel or some variation of that. I don't know if there's like a correct pronunciation for that, but we don't really care that much. Definitely getting lots of banana. That uh, banana uh, aroma comes from, mostly comes from the yeast that's used in these types of beers. It's also a nice hazy pale yellow color, which is typical of a Belgian. Let's see drink. if this ghosts us. Cheers. It's very good. Very banana-y. Very yeah. banana-y. I'm not sure I'm getting the jasmine flowers. I don't know if I am or not. I don't, it's not right up front. Maybe that's why it's always a ghost, because it's going to come slowly somewhere in the back. It's the very end. Kind of like a ghost. Or maybe I'm just making that up. I thought I heard something. That was weird. Like dead serious. It tastes really good. I mean, it tastes, uh, there's a lot of like this banana esters hanging out in there. Um, it's definitely got a very yeasty quality to it. Um, kind of like what I would call a medium carbonation level. It's, it's very refreshing. Um, I'm not like you getting those jasmine flowers though. And I'm not sure if that's something that's supposed to like really pop out or if it's supposed to be back in the background like a ghost, you know? There is a certain like, slight twinge to it, and I'm wondering if that's what I'm tasting. I don't know what jasmine tastes like, though. It's more of like a, it's like a fragrance that's associated with jasmine flowers. But I'm also not, I'm not getting a lot of those fragrant notes either. It could be in there, and it's just such a delicate scent that it hides easily mm. under all of the rest of the beer. Yeah, maybe, maybe the banana esters just take over. Definitely some clove and some sort of like deeper characteristics. Um, but there's this twinge and I think that's what it is. I think that the little twinge is actually the jasmine. I don't know. I'm also shocked that this is 9.2% because it's- That's so smooth. That is incredibly nice and smooth and creamy and- That's a big beer. Yeah, it doesn't taste like a big beer. That's I a mean, no joke beer. I mean, triples are in general, they're pretty, you know, pretty robust beers, but it tastes like I'm drinking like this would be 6%. Dangerous. Yeah, they ghosted it with the uh, alcohol percentage there. Yeah. This may be um, actually a bit more delicate than that beer we had from the Black Abbey, or the Lost Abbey. One of the two, I don't remember what it's called. I think it was Black Maybe. Abbey, right? Yeah. The one in Tennessee? Yeah. Yeah. That one was a little, Lost. that one was definitely a little too, like, in your face with the Belgian esters. Like, it was, like, over the top. Like, I yeah. did not enjoy it because it was too much. Um, I thought I was getting into a lighter kind of like, oh yay, Belgian beer, yeah, it's oh, good. No. That was, Hell no, that thing that was, was insane. insane. So this is way smoother and way better for sure. 
All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon accounts linked in the description below. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.